Hey, hi friends. In this video, we will see how to perform crude operations using JDBC. Okay. So, in in previous video, uh, we have we have seen how to insert and retrieve images from the MySQL database using uh, JDBC. All right. So, so the crude operations are equivalent to create, select, update, and delete statement in SQL language. So, so we are using MySQL database, but uh, the technique and the source code is same uh, for other uh, data relational databases. All right. So, so let us see how to perform these crude operations against uh, MySQL database using uh, JDBC. API. Alright, so let us uh, start with the how creating a table in a MySQL database. Alright, so here uh, I have a created uh, database. Uh, I have I have given a name as a Java underscore demo. Alright. So in order to create a table, uh, we use statement object. Okay. So statement uh, interface object uh, used for executing a static SQL statement and returning the results it produces. So if you want to execute static SQLs, then uh, I highly recommend you to use stat statement interface object. Right. So this is the uh, user uh, DDL we are going to create. Okay, let us uh, let us open the Eclipse and let's create. Uh, this program all right so in, in eclipse you can see uh, in a previous example i have created a simple myon project uh, and i have inserted and retrieved uh, images from the database so here we create a separate package name it as a crude all right so crude stands for create uh, read update delete so let's create a class name it as a create statement example let's uh, uh let us uh, reuse this code copy and paste here all right so instead of uh, you know uh, writing line by line code we can reuse the code from uh, the article so here is the create table users and the primary keys id and you know, the other uh, stuff so here we are creating object of this class and calling uh, create create table so here you can see this is a very simple jdbc code that we have written this is the mysql database url and this is a username and its password all right so here you can see uh, we, we are using try with resource statement that java 7 provides this feature to automatically close the resources so we don't use to finally block uh, to close the connection and prepare statement and the uh, other resources all right so here you can see we are following the steps like first we need to establish a connection that and then we create a statement using connection object and then we execute a query or update a query all right these are the three st uh, steps you need to remember and finally the fourth step is uh, if uh, any exception occurs then this this method will be called all right so these are the simple steps uh, we need to you need to you need to follow all right so let's change the database uh, let's name it uh, java square demo right and let's run this program and uh, we'll see how the table is created in the mysql so here uh, we have printed some this create statement on console okay let's refresh and here we go uh, the users table is created and uh, we, have, we haven't inserted any records in a table all right so this is how we created a table in this database now let, next step is we need to insert a record in a database so we we use prepare statement object to insert records in a database because prepare statement uh, object provides a perform improves a performance like a sql test statement is free compiled and stored in a prepared, prepared statement object so this object can be then used efficiently uh, execute this statement multiple times so it is a free compiled so uh, we can reuse the prepared uh, statement object multiple times so it doesn't does not compile uh, again and again right 
so here uh, let's create a class and uh, let us test this program go to the new class insert uh, and let's uh, reuse this code so i recommend you to you to use use this uh, just copy the code and uh, instead of writing line by line all right let's change the database name all right let's uh, let's build the modern project so we have done changes so we need to sometime we need to build the modern project to reflect the changes let's run this program here we go the record is inserted in users table let us see in the mysql workbench yes here we go so the record is inserted in a mysql database all right so the let's understand here uh, we first step is we have established a connection and we, we have used a try with resource statement then the second statement is we have created a statement using connection object in this case we have used a prepared statement and next step is we execute the query or update the query and here we printed the sql exception so simple steps all right so next step is uh, we need to create a uh, we need to create a program which uh, retrieves the records from the database all right let's create a class go to the crude package go to the new class create finish let's uh, reuse this code all right perfect let's change the database name all right so similar steps uh, we have followed like uh, first we need to establish the connection so we are using try with the, try with the resource statement to avoid the close or to, to avoid the closing resources it will automatically close the resources next step is we create a statement using connection object third is execute the query or update the query and finally we, we uh, the one more step is we process the result set object so execute query returns the result set object here we have iterated it and uh, again we have printed on a console and if any exception then we have printed on a, on a console well, it's pretty simple let us build the man project we have done some, change, some changes so we need to build a man project to reflect the changes and let's run this program mm, here we go all right here you can see one comma Tony all right this is the record we have retrieved from the database all right the next step is we need to update our record so use prepare statement object to update a record all right again let's go to the crude package new class hit finish let's reuse the code all right let's change the database name java underscore demo so you can use the data, any database name that you are comfortable you can give a name to the database so i have given in my case i have given java underscore demo so this is a simple uh, update statement uh, just we are updating a name that's all by id all right so this is the tony name is tony and we are updating with the name as a uh, RAM all right now the state simple st uh, steps we have followed like establish the connection create the statement execute the statement then print the SQL exception similar uh, steps we need to follow let's uh, build the main project all right build success let's run the program Mm, here we go the program successfully executed let us see the updated yes the name is updated from Tony to RAM all right uh, this is how uh, the crude operations we have you know created and uh, executed so here you can see uh, we have uh, user redundant code I mean yeah, in uh, in uh, all the case and all the four uh, classes we have written uh, connection uh, url username password let's uh, refactor it 
let's make a utility class like here you can see I have created a JDBC utils class and where I kept all the common code that I have extracted from all the crude uh, classes alright so this is uh, this is how uh, we basically this is the tip for you this is how we refactor and uh, in real world projects we basically uh, avoid the redundant code or duplicate code so you can refactor uh, more right so here you can just re uh, call the jdbc utils dot get connection method that's it 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 looks clean and clear right now now one more thing is we we just call print sql exception method alright so we remove this method from here now it looks very very small and clean and simple right so same thing let us uh, do the changes in other classes as well let's remove it and type jdbc utils not get connection S simple let's call print sql 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 exception and just remove this method all right similarly we can do in a select statement example Alright, so this looks very clear and uh, neat, right? So this is how basically refactor the code. So always try to reduce the redundant or duplicate code, and uh, you can just refactor it by you know extracting in a common place, like I have done. I have created util JDBC utils, and I have kept a common code over there, and I have just called in respective classes. Alright guys, uh, we have done changes in all the classes. Now uh, each class looks clean and uh, you know maintainable. So, so you can do refactoring uh, if you feel like uh, you can you can extract this SQL statement in a common uh, JDBC utils so that you can you can change in you know, one only one place and it will get reflected in other places. So this is uh, how we we can create a code operations using JDBC connection. I hope you guys uh, uh, you know enjoyed this video tutorial.